Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to acquire from sport.avaya.com, upload and replace the IP phone firmware in the Avaya Aura utility server. The video you are viewing will show how to acquire and implement new IP phone firmware into the utility server IP phone firmware manager. I'll begin with a little background on the utility server. System Platform 6.0 introduced five new communication manager templates. Four of the five templates provided utility services capabilities. Avaya Aura 6.2 introduced a single template for utility services. The anticipated primary use for this template is the enhanced directory function, but if it's available, this should be used as a primary method to distribute IP telephone firmware. The demonstration will be done using a utility server that is a component of the solution for the midsize enterprise. Midsize enterprise is a later entry into the various Aura template architectures. Our first step is to identify the current version of the firmware of the 96X1 telephone. I have chosen to use that particular set type for the demonstrations today. I have logged into the utility server and selected the Utility Admin drop-down. This exposes the menu tree for the various utility server functions. I have selected the link to display the firmware that is currently provisioned on the server. Shown is what comes as the default firmware in a newly installed ME template. We will focus on the 96X1 firmware as indicated. Indicated on the screen are the four telephone types that are in the 96X1 family. Those set types are the 9608, 9611, 9621, and the 9641 telephones. We will now go to the new support.avaya.com and use the new interface to acquire the new versions of firmware. I have logged into support.avaya.com and using the new interface, I have selected the Downloads and Document option. I have started to enter 9600 and the search engine has narrowed it down to three choices for the 9600 family of telephones. I have selected the top choice and then selected the firmware version of interest, H323 6.2x. Since the download radio button was selected, I have pressed the enter button to start the search. When the search completed, I selected the center choice, which is a link to the firmware. This opens a detailed screen that describes the firmware. At the bottom of the screen are the four versions of firmware that can be downloaded. The first and third choices are zip files compiled with signature files for the firmware. Inspecting each of the zip file, file names, one has a capital U, which indicates that this package of files are unencrypted. The other package is the encrypted version. The last entry is the readme file for the firmware. This file should be examined to identify any particulars to be aware of. The README also explains the zip files are to be used with the utility server. I have selected and downloaded the unencrypted version of the firmware. Since the firmware releases over 70 megabytes, I am not showing it here. I have returned back to the IP phone firmware manager and have selected the manage firmware link. We have to deactivate the earlier 96X1 firmware as a first step in this process. To do that, select the radio button associated with the firmware and press the deactivate button. This opens a deactivate window and it responds with a command completed successfully response in green. To return back to the manage firmware screen, press the continue button. Note that the firmware is now in the unpacked state which has it removed from being served out of the HTTP server. I have selected the display firmware link once again and as you can see the previous 96X1 firmware is no longer shown in this display. 
I have now selected the link that allows new firmware to be uploaded to the server. I have selected the Browse button to locate and select new firmware that we downloaded from the support.avaya.com website. Pressing the Upload button starts the transfer, and depending upon the bandwidth available, this could take a little time. Shown in the left corner of the main window is the text that says Upload File Reports Success. Returning back to the Manage Firmware screen, you see the new firmware is present but in the packed state. This firmware will need to be unpacked. This is accomplished by selecting the radio button associated with it and pressing the Unpack button. This opens the Unpack window and displays that each file is validated and the signature file is verified. Pressing the Continue button returns us to the Manage Firmware screen where the firmware is shown now as unpacked. It now needs to be activated. This is performed by selecting the radio button once again and pressing the Activate button to start that process. That opens the Activate window and you receive the command successfully completed response in green. Press the Continue button to exit out of the screen and to return to the previous screen. Note that the firmware status is now active. In closing, we are looking at the display firmware screen, and what is indicated is the firmware is updated and ready to be served out to the IP telephones as they are reset and requesting the update. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.